Welcome to The Happy Foodie. I'm Omar Ali Boy, and I'm going to show you how to cook this fantastic chicken stew with olives, one of the many recipes uh, from my Tapas Revolution book. First, I'm going to pan fry over a high heat these beautiful chicken thighs. They have the skin on, the bone in, you know, that all is flavor. And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt all over both sides of the thigh, inside and outside. A good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, and we are gonna start pan frying them over high heat. We'll pan fry them skin side down first, as they will release quite a lot of fat, which will help cooking and will give flavor to the end dish as well. After about six, seven minutes, or up to 10, depending on your heat, uh, you should achieve this quite dark golden color. That's what we are after. So it's time to turn them around. And uh, the more caramelization, the darker it gets, the more flavor it will have. So that is quite important. Now, I'm just going to add the garlic, which is gonna give a really nice aroma. So uh, this car sort of a ugly skin, so the outer skins and just crush them a little bit with your hand and against the board, against the chopping board, and I'm going to add them into the pan. This is something that you can thinly slice, that um, you can thinly, even finely chop it as well, depending on the amount of intensity of garlic you want. In this case, I just want a bit of aroma. I'm going to set the chicken aside and I'm gonna start frying the onion with the garlic. The chicken is nice and golden on all sides, so I'm just going to take it off the pan. You see there's quite a lot of oil in here, but it's an oil-based sauce, so don't worry. And now, onion. I'm going to add those sprigs in. Not too much, three is sufficient, as rosemary is very strong and very powerful, and it can be quite overpowering in terms of aroma. And now I'm just gonna leave them, leave them brown over medium heat for a good 10 minutes until nice golden. And it is now time to add one generous teaspoon of flour, which will help thicken up the sauce. We are just gonna cook it for about 30 seconds or so, so that it fries nicely and it loses that floury texture and floury taste. I'm going to put the chicken back in. And now, I'm just going to flambe with a bit of white wine and a shot of brandy, which will give nice intensity to this beautiful sauce. And if we put the heat on high, you'll see how it flambes. And that will give extra richness to the sauce. Really nice. I'm gonna go with the olives. A nice handful of mixed green and black olives. A little bit of black pepper, a bit more salt just to season the, the sauce as well. I'm going to add the chicken stock and I'm just going to simmer it on low heat for about 20 minutes until it's ready until the chicken is fully cooked and the sauce has reduced down into quite a nice thick consistency. This chicken is now ready, so I'm gonna switch it off. It's been simmering for the last 15 minutes. Let me just serve a little bit here. And uh, while I do that, uh, remember there's plenty more videos in the Happy Foodie so don't forget to subscribe and let me try it. But take a look at the sauce, what I meant. You can see how rich it is and how dense it has become. Let me just dig in. Mm. I just feel this dish is a great sort of a stew for any occasion, whether it's a dinner or a lunch on the weekend, you know, and I'm sure everyone, you know, who doesn't like chicken and olives, really? So buen provecho and I hope you, you try it.